Hey guys, so in this video we're going to basically download the Haskell platform. So first you want to go to this website and that's www.haskell.org slash platform and you want to get the uh, minimal version because they say that the minimal option is currently the generally recommended one. So I'm on Windows right now and I have a 64-bit system so I downloaded the uh, minimal 64-bit and you can see that here. So Haskell platform, this is version 8.0.1 minimal uh, x86 64 setup uh, exe file. So once you download it, basically you're just going to run the file and you're going to follow the steps uh, basically all the way through. And then once you get done with that, you're going to want to go to your command prompt. Okay, and what we want to type in is GHCI, that's the Haskell compiler. You see it's GHCI version 8.0.1 and all this other great stuff. Well, what we're going to do now is we see this prompt here is prelude, uh, but because it can get longer when you load stuff into the session we're going to just use GHCI and if you want to have the same prompt um, just type in this command here set prompt uh, GHCI and space okay so now we're going to have instead of prelude it should just be GHCI so there we go. And so just to kind of get us started out here, let's do some simple arithmetic. So we can do something like 3 plus um, 17. So that should give me 20. And we can do uh, 50 times 2 gives me 100. Uh, let's do 65 minus 5 should give me 60. And uh, 6 divided by 2 should give me 3. So this is pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, we can also use several other operators on one line. Uh, let's see here. So we use like the parentheses to make the president's explicit or to change it. So let's do 50 times 2 minus 10. So this should be 100 minus 10, which is 90. And that's what we get back. Um, also, we should get, uh, let's say, 7 times 2 minus 4. So this should be 14 if we're following the normal operations, which is good. So this is pretty cool, right? Let's try a negative number. So 5 times negative 4 gives me negative 20. All right. So some of the other operations are Boolean algebra operations. And they're pretty straightforward as well. So we have true and true. And that returns true. We have false and true and that returns false let's see we could do false or true which should be true and then we also got our not false so this should return true and not true should return false then we can even do something like not true and false. So true and false gave us false. So this means not false. So this should equate the true. And it does. We can even test for equality. So let's do 6 equals equals 6. That's true. Does 6 equal equal 7? It shouldn't. 
and so that's false and it doesn't um, let's say hi equals equals hi and that's good and let's try five not equal four so this should be true does five not equal three is true and five not equal five is false because five does equal uh, five so thank you guys I hope this was a a pretty good introduction into Haskell here and I'm gonna put up some more videos we're going to go into more depth using uh, Haskell files, and I'll see you guys on the next video.